Hi, my name is Dr. Purudhavan and today I'm going to talk about a very common symptom that can be found in a kidney failure patient and that is proteinuria. So what is proteinuria? Proteinuria is defined as excessive excretion of protein in the urine. Globulin and albumin are the most common protein that are excreted in urine. Although proteinuria is a asymptomatic but it can be lead to a serious kidney damage. It is an underlying symptom which can cause numerous complications like kidney damage, high blood pressure, edema and even the worst case heart disease. Loss of protein in the body makes our blood thin and due to this problem CKD patient faces swelling in the legs which is also known as pedal edema. The thinner our blood the more our heart has to work hard due to which our heart gets more strain. This is one of the reasons for high blood pressure in CKD patient. Now we have discussed what is proteinuria and its complication. Now let's discuss its types. Generally proteinuria is of two types. Transit proteinuria it is by far the most common form of proteinuria. It usually resolves without treatment stress, exercise and fever are the main causes behind transit proteinuria. Another type of proteinuria is persistent proteinuria. In contrast to pro transit proteinuria, persistent proteinuria occurs in people with underlying kidney disease or medical problem. It is an indicator that our kidney are damaged and proper treatment is required on immediate basis. Proteinuria is one of the major symptoms of kidney disease. So how do we know if a person is suffering from proteinuria? Some signs and symptoms of proteinuria are frothy urine and foamy urine and turbid urine. On maturation, if you see unusual amount of froth like a soapy foam formation, that means protein is present in urine. Now we know what are the signs and symptoms of proteinuria. Now let us discuss its prevention and treatment. But before moving towards the treatment for protein loss in kidney failure patient, it is very important for us to understand what goes wrong in the kidney failure patient. Well, there are few major reasons for kidney failure, but the most important reason are either high blood pressure or high sugar levels. Now let us talk about these reasons. When any person suffer from kidney failures because of high blood pressure or sugar level, the nephron are not able to retain the protein inside the body. The question is, what happens in case of high blood pressure? When the blood pressure is high, the blood enters the kidney with very high force and because of this pressure, it strikes to the wall of thin membrane of the nephrons. And due to this thrust, the membrane starts making changes in itself so that it can survive during the mutation. And due to this change, the membrane becomes sclerosed and thick and loses its function to work effectively. And due to this, the level of creatinine in the body increases and leads to protein loss in urine. So in order to control protein loss in urine, kidney failure patient it is necessary to control high blood pressure. Another main reason for protein loss in urine is high sugar levels. High sugar level means diabetes. When a person is suffering from diabetes, the cell of nephron become weak. And if your sugar level increases above 200, then the sugar starts moving out of the body through urine. So if this thing happens again and again on a daily basis, then due to high workload, the kidney gradually stops working and causes further problem in the body. So if we want to control the protein loss in urine, we need to control the sugar level and blood pressure level in the body first. There are some other lifestyle changes where a kidney failure patient can treat proteinuria. First is limiting your salt intake, which can lower down your blood pressure level. Eating more fiber which can reduce cholesterol and controls blood sugar levels. Third is quitting smoking and tobacco use. So in the last, I want to add one more simple line. If you want to stop protein loss in urine, you need to increase the kidney function 
by lowering down the blood pressure level and sugar levels in the body. Now I hope you have understood what are the reason behind proteinuria, what are the type of proteinuria and how we can cop this disease. If you have any kind of question inquiry regarding kidney failure, GFR, creatinine, you can simply mail your reports on the email address given below. Till then, stay safe and see you in the next video.